Yo guys, what is up? This is Dallas and welcome back to part 2 of the tutorial. This is going to basically be design and we're going to hop right into it because design usually takes a while and I'm just going to explain to you what I've done here because this usually takes a while. Um, not really, but it probably would. So first thing I'm going to explain of design is this way, walkway right here. Um, if you want to do this, it's obviously very obvious how to do. You just place random gravel in either just areas like this. I can just stop right here so you can take a look at it and I like adding some cobblestone into it too to make it either a road to different places and whatnot. Um, right here I added a pool. Um, just make it kind of an oval shape. That's what I did here. I did record an episode before this doing this but it, it was already at like eight minutes just doing this stuff and some of the stuff on the inside so I'm just going to basically explain how to do it. Uh, once you do that, I'll stop right here just in case you want to look at it to see how to do it. And then uh, you just place water in it and it should flatten out. Right here on this corner, I like adding just some sugar, sugar cane and then one can be one higher just to add some realistic feel to it. I added some flowers around. And right here, added some shrubs right here and um, you want to put wood under them, which is, if I can delete it right there, as you saw, and then place this on the top. And then I added one higher right there to make it look like it's overgrown a little bit. Same around here. And it goes around a bit. I'll stop right here just in case you want to look at it. And there we go. That was the outside portion of what I did. Up here where the kind of a barbecue area is. Remember, I'm not the most amazing designer ever. But that's what I like to do. Add a little bit of uh, a furnace right there. And just two top slabs right there. And throw a torch right there just for some light. Same as there. Right here, I'm going to put backward doors because it adds more depth to it, like, and that's that. On the inside, the second floor, you're going to go three from the bottom. You're going to add these logs all the way on the outside, just like this, as you can see, all the way around. And then in the middle, you're going to add all of the planks, three from the bottom here. One, two, three. And then... <laughs> Right here, I added a double staircase, so it's going to be three open right here and two open over here. And a double staircase with stairs and the, I mean not stairs, um, fences on the back, which I forgot to put one over here. Yeah, right here, just like that. And then you go up, you'll slam your face into a wall. <laughs> And then, um, this place is kind of smaller up here. Uh, I added a slab right here so you can go this way and walk up. And then you have your room. Now up here is where I was going to do some of the designing. This, I think I'm going to add two glass panes right there to have a, a full length window. Same as over here, actually. Maybe. Actually, you got a good view of the freaking... <laughs> That doesn't look too good there, but it works. Um, so that's that. More of interior design. Let's do this. So upstairs. We're going to start upstairs first. Uh, I'm going to grab some beds. That. Painting. Some of this. Alright, so I'm going to place a bed right in the center there. Um, let's see here. Since you can place chests right here. And... Uh, you can still open them in survival because these are stairs right here. I'm going to place two chests right here. Uh, bookshelves, I'm going to add like some right here. And some right here, just to make it look random up here. Paintings, I'm going to throw one right there maybe. And right there. And right there. <laughs> Alright, I like making it look a lot random and just having stuff... I'm not OCD, I hate building OCD, like everything has to be perfect, I hate that, I like being random. That's my choice at least, I'm going to throw a crafting table up there in the corner, and throw one right here next to the bookshelves, and then you'll have this nice little room. Now this is my kind of room, uh, if you don't like it, you can do whatever you want to change it. I'm actually going to throw a fence right here, just like that. Maybe there too. Yeah, so you don't fall down the staircase. <laughs> um, for these bookshelves right here, I am going to grab these. Oops, my bad. Nope, nope. Mm, there we go. And, okay, you can do that too. <laughs> and add those there, just, um, there we go. 
just to make it look like it's a shelf you have to open to get books or whatnot. You can even delete one to make it look more random. That's what I like doing sometimes. Just randomness. I like random. So there's that room. I don't think there's really much else you can really add in here to add like whatever you want. Um, I'm trying to see here. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> that's basically upstair design for me if I had a bedroom up here. Um, down, no, downstairs design. Um, I like to grab cobblestone and fill in these sides right here all the way around. Not that one. Just like this. Just to add, uh, make it look like it's uh, the foundation of the house, if you know what I mean. There's some bad guys being chased by cops outside my house. <laughs> the siren's going off, so if you hear that, I doubt you would do, obviously, but it's really faint. Anyway, <laughs> um, let's go ahead and finish this up. And I know I deleted one on here on accident. That goes there. Okay, cobblestone around the sides. I'm going to stop it right there. No, actually, I should probably fill those in. And right there. Okay, that's that part. How did. Oh, there. Now I'm going to grab some brown wool. Since this is kind of like an old, like maybe, let's say, a hunter's house or something like that, that's my choice. I am going to throw down what I like to call, I guess, a pelt. This is my design just for a simple pelt. I have a better design, but it like needs a bigger room for it. But just something like that kind of reminds me of a pelt, so I just throw it down on the ground right there just to make it look a little more better. Bookshelves. Um, actually, we need a kitchen, so uh, let's see what would be good for a kitchen here. We need that. We need a furnace. That, that, and a trap door. So kitchen will be right over here in this corner. I am going to throw down uh, furnaces right there, maybe. I'm thinking. Uh, we can throw down uh, bookshelves across here like this. You can put trapdoor right there. You can. I'm going to grab a stone block right or like that. Then you're going to grab a fence too. And throw that right there, maybe, to make it look like it's being supported a bit. Alright, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. I'm going to finish, like, seeing books are on that side, so I'm going to... That always happens. So that side, and then books are open on this side for, I don't know, cooking recipes, maybe. Let's go ahead and grab our stone slab again. I'm going to end our crafting table. Where'd that go? Get out here, where are you? Okay, there you are. Um, okay, and then I'm going to throw a craft table right there, maybe. Stone slabs right across here for a countertop. And maybe not right there. Just like that, and that can be our little kitchen, you know? These are my, uh, my designs, you can always change it up yourself, it don't matter, but, um... Yeah, just like that, it's a cute little kitchen, you know? <laughs> Alright, um, next I'm going to grab some bookshelves again. I'm going to fill this corner with... Man, let's do it right there. Like that. There's some bookshelves. Um, same as right here, maybe. And maybe over... No, not right there. Right there. Alright, it's just random bookshelves. Um, let's see what else we can add in here. Uh, let's see what would be a good... Um, maybe... These, alright. Stone brick stairs with a sign. Where's the sign at? There we go. Alright, um, for the sitting area, I'm just going to place this there for now. And then that can go there. If my iPod doesn't crash, it always takes a while to load those signs up. Like I press it and it takes. Oh, that time it didn't. Put some signs right there. And um, that's basically almost it, just for like pocket edition design for on the inside. Um, I'm trying to look what else you can, oh yeah, you can always do this too, uh, let me go up here, grab a dirt block, dirt block, trap door, and like say a shrub, maybe not a shrub, you can always go by the window, oh, not right there, right there, you can place trap doors around on the outside, like that, 
and then throw a sapling on the top to make it look like you got a little something inside but yeah that's basically it for most interior design for pocket edition because we don't we're kind of limited but um if you guys like go ahead and drop a like um this is basically it for this and uh yeah that's that's a little nice wooden cabin you can make thanks for watching if if i think i missed anything i'm not really for sure leave in the comments below and uh yeah <laughs> i i kind of like it but um Leave me any suggestions down below of a next build you guys want. I already got an idea, but if you guys get any more better ideas, just leave in the comments and I'll try it out. Uh, see you guys later.